first You make a picture then We're gonna judge it But you're no good Drawing is hard Welcome, Welcome to, to Drawing is hard. hard I'm Drew I'm Mikey I'm Mike We've got some suggestions for Mike today We've got The Future St. Louis Burger Brian Cranston And a baby uh, do we have anybody capable of running this over to him? Is there a Jess? Here we are. Oh, there's Jess. Thanks, Jess. Thanks, Jess. Boy, Jess is looking really feminine today. Future St. Louis sounds pretty cool. And I imagine all burgers in the future. Maybe not made of beef. Um, Brian Cranston's from a famous show, Malcolm in the Middle. And Baby. And nobody puts Baby in a corner. Let's get started. You said he had a, uh, a business idea related to the future, didn't you? He does. I will tell everyone so that somebody steals it. Mike Cross, his great business plan for the future is to make a restaurant called, I can't remember if it's Future Burger or Space Burger, um, but he's going to buy up old banks that have the vacuum tubes, and he will put all of your food into one container and then fly it through the tube, and it will slam down and everything mixed together. And then you open it up and you've got like, a burger that's been emulsified with shake and fries. Good word, mm -hmm. emulsified. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet, Avengers. This is pretty cool. All right. I still think that's one of my favorite versions of the future is the Jetsons. You know what I'd do though, if I were a bad guy? What's I'd that? just go chop down buildings. Go down to the, the wasteland beneath and just like laser sword, because it's the future that exists. Sure. Um, and just <laughs> But, but I mean, okay, most bad guys want to make money, right? Mm -hmm. Is there any money in cutting down someone's house? Some men just want to watch the world burn. I think um, Alfred from Batman told me that. Did, Michael Caine. Does Alfred want to watch the world burn? He might. It's kind of messed up. Mm -hmm. Why do we fool? Uh, it's a, a new wax on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that's usually what it does for me. <laughs> You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Neither is Frankie Muniz. Life is unfair. His, his view of the future is the back of any 1980s VHS movie. Like, it would be Streak Dome 2027. <laughs> like, the future only goes... It goes all along. Yeah. And you have what looks like grids coming at you. Oh man, I love those things. Mask! And then Mike's there, and he's spinning around, but then he gets cyborg upgrade so half of his face turns into a grid and then it comes back looking worse but like with a coffee can here cross cross <laughs> I love that version of the future I'm ready so let's see what we got just with the reveal whoa Hold on, I'm just looking at it. I'm not looking at any specifics. <laughs> I'm just taking it all in at once. Okay, now let's start breaking it down. Would you like to go first? Um, I think they like it. First of all, what is wrong with the sun in the future? <laughs> That's, what I wanted That's to know. the first question. Is, what is what wrong is with the sun? What is going on here? Oh my God. The sun is huge in the future and angry. Supernova. Well, you've polluted. Thing. Okay, let's start reading words here. Welcome to Heisenberg, formerly St. Louis, uh, home of the Whopper. Now, I'm thinking he probably meant to put formerly St. Louis, not formally. Yeah, I fucked that up. I was rushing, sorry. Um, Mike Cross Nissan. As well as Mike Cross Mazda. <laughs> so every car in the future is <laughs> is a Mike Cross flying car. <laughs> it is, and they have wagon wheels still. <laughs> That's just an invention we didn't get enough of and needed to go back and revisit. Just in the area, just in the Heisenberg, uh, just in the Heisenberg, Illinois area. There's a crazy guy 
eating the Italian flag between two buns. <laughs> well, if you recognize that it's buns, then I suppose that's a burger. That's an awfully rare burger, though, because it's quite red. I think this is, I think that's another one of Mike Cross. I think this is Mike Cross in the future after he's had hair replacement surgery. Because mm -hmm. look, he's got one now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a burger, but it looks more like a sushi roll, like a giant sideways sushi roll. It's, it's a burger, I mean. Yeah, I think it's, it's bread, avocado, uh, ketchup and mayo. A lot of mayo. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> or a sick acorn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how to draw an acorn. I wouldn't draw an acorn. I'm really trying to figure out what water, it looks, water is. It looks like some sort of like vaguely futuristic like... Water fountain or...? Yeah, kinda. Water divided by water equals one, obviously. Right. Um, a unity fountain? He's not that smart. He fucked something up. I don't... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I'm a little pissed that at the uh, the Brian Cranston request, he really phoned it in by just writing Heisenberg on there. Yeah, and I don't know what's with the lowercase s and the e that's messed up. Oh, that was going to be a lowercase e, you see. Oh, you know what it was? I wonder if he was trying to do uh, elements like they do. Oh, yeah, Bad, I bet that's but what But then he, he figured out he doesn't know any elements <laughs> other than helium, so just fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. I know, he, I know elements, I know nickel, and borat, borium, borat. <laughs> where's the baby? Where, where's baby oh, at all? Oh, that's eating the burger. That's a stretch. That, no, it's not. It's got one curly hair. It's like, eh. That's a, it's a weird baby. It doesn't it, have a nose, and it's probably Mike Cross anyway. It's me as a baby. Can we talk about the thing in the lower right that we haven't talked about yet? Uh, if we have to. What is it? Uh, that's why I don't want to talk about it, because I don't know. There's like a fainting bench and a turtle raptor. Pieces of burger have fallen onto the ground near the bench. And what's going on is the, um, the, the futuristic ducks are eating it. That's pretty simple. The guy driving the Nissan, I thought was doing this and there was a giant lever. <laughs> He's like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be a really tough way to drive. Well, that's the, that's the future and you don't have wheels anymore. You just have one big lever that you move around <laughs> to where you're trying to go. <laughs> that's how George Deshin did it. Journey. You see the tallest building in the, in the town there. I see it. Okay. okay. Imagine you live on the side of it that faces the sun, okay? <laughs> and you wake up in the morning <laughs> and you throw open the curtains and you see that. <laughs> it's, ah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to think I'm hallucinating or having another stroke <laughs> yeah. at that point. Majora's Mask. Need I say more? It's like a visual slap to the face. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's invigorating art. <laughs> I need to wake up. Yeah! Okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> it's like watching a, a snuff film to wake up every day. It's just terrible. It's like pouring coffee into your eyeballs. If I remember correctly, you asked for the future. And what's happening in the future? Warming of globally, okay? And you didn't think about that, but the sun would naturally get hotter and brighter and, I assume, closer to us because it's slowly supernovaing. Um, also, there's a baby in the sun and on the ground. I did two of them, and you're telling me I didn't do one, so whatever. Whatever.